Hi, everyone. Welcome back. And thank you so much for tuning in to our 2021 March book launch. My name is Jim Howard. I'm the publisher for Morgan James Publishing. And today I'm very excited to introduce you to one of our amazing authors. She is Marsha Arsberger, and she's the author of 100, uh, no, yeah, 160 Acres of Dirt, A History of the Pioneers of Kansas Settlement, Arizona, Territory 1909, and stories, including the School Marm's Pearl Handled Pistol. Marsha, thank you so much for taking the time to talk with us today. Well, thanks, Jim. It's very exciting. Uh, we're excited to be here as well, and what an incredible book. Um, goes through so many of the stories and the details. And I, you know, it's one of those ones, and, and you may remember back when we first started talking as we started the, the publishing process that um, I couldn't put it down when I was preparing for my call. I kept wanting to come back and read more of the journey and the stories that were in this book. So what prompted you to write this book? Well, Jim, um, I like to listen to people. I love to listen to their stories. But I also write them down. I have all my life. I've written them down, kept little journals, uh, computers, you know, I just keep them. And uh, I lived in that valley. I met many of the people who were descendants of the original pioneers. Mm -hmm. And I also found out that their story had never been told. Wow. And it's amazing. Arizona is an amazing place, a very difficult place. So I thought uh, these people were special and their stories need to be told. Well, we're, we're certainly glad you did. And the insight giving into that area and those families and uh, those people's journeys needed to be told. And you told it so well. So besides writing, um, you, what other thing you, you've done some amazing things. What other things have you done in your life besides just writing? Well, I confess I've had a very exciting life, quite an exciting life. Uh, when I was about 17 years old, I was a cowgirl, and I was riding barrel racing at the rodeos. Later on, my late husband and I were ranchers for many years, so I was still a cowgirl. <laughs> but then I'm also a pilot, a rather high-time instrument pilot, and I worked in Civil Air Patrol. We, I was a commander and also a search and rescue pilot. Now, search and rescue in Arizona mountains is a rather exciting thing, but we did quite a bit of that. Felt like we were doing some good found down airplanes. Then later, I decided to run for election to the Arizona State Senate. I was elected four terms, and it was quite a challenge. I do like a challenge, and um, I felt like I did a lot of good for particularly people in agriculture, ranching, and rural communities in Arizona. So I also enjoy that. Uh, I love that. I love that it seems like your writing, your service, everything that you've done have all tied around who you are and what's important to you and, and the things that, that, that you've done in your life. So uh, that is such a beautiful one. It sounds like there may be a book in there about all of those journeys too. So we can't wait to see that one. But with, with 160 acres of dirt, um, there's an amazing story. Um, what's the most important message that you want the readers to get? I think it's important for us today to take a look at, at what people, our grandparents did what people 100 years ago did, and how they persevered and survived in some very difficult situations. Mm. And I think that's a, that's a good message. We have it too easy. We just don't realize how tough people can be when they have to. You know, you are so true. Um, but, you know, the thing is, is we live in an ever-changing landscape, and it may not be um, the crossing of deserts and the establishing communities and the fights that were 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 fought back in the day but we're fighting fights every day and i think the stories of those journeyers those people who settled that that community can serve as a way for us to continue to push and develop and and find new ways to to live and grow and thrive in these times as well and 
And I thank you for writing those stories and sharing them with people so they can get an insight what it was like back then so they can leverage that for moving forward today. Uh, that's exciting. I'm so glad you got that from the book. Um, people's stories at all times are important. And I honestly felt bad that these people's stories had never been told. Mm. And I agree, reading them uh, makes us understand their joys and tragedies and challenges and triumphs. Beautiful. Beautiful. So people who are watching this today uh, may have read your book or could be you know, waiting to get a copy of their book in hand so they can read it. How, what's the best way for them to connect with you and, and find out more about what you're doing? Well, I do have a website and I write stories on it, which is fun for me and fun for readers both. And it's the www wandering owl tales, T-A-L-E-S, not the other kind of tales, <laughs> dot com. And I posted the occasional story there in, in several topics, ancestors, of course, animals, and adventures. So I invite people to come and read my stories. Oh, I invite them as well. Uh, all of you guys who are watching the video today, watching this interview right now, I encourage you, uh, go to www.wanderingowltales.com and check out some of the stories, the journeys, uh, the adventures that, that Marsha is sharing on her website. And more importantly, get a copy of this book, 160 Acres of Dirt. It's available everywhere. There's the beautiful cover Marsha is holding up. She's a great author displaying her work. That's perfect. Uh, grab your copy today. And if you need more information, you can go to Morgan James booklaunch.com to get more insight and more information on Marsha and her wonderful book. Marsha, thank you for taking the time today to talk with us and introduce your book out to our audience. My pleasure. And to all of you guys, thank you so much for tuning in. And I hope you grab a copy of Marsha's book and I hope you see the messages as we've dis displayed them today. Thank you so much. And we'll see you on the next one.